Hi, I'm Anders de Vos. I'm one of the faculty members of uh, the Antwerp Management School, where, I'm work, uh, where I work in the domain of uh, next generation work, um, and especially focusing on everything regarding to sustainable careers and career development. But um, as part of my academic role in the school, I'm also uh, one of the founders of what we call the Global Leadership Course. What we're looking at in our um, yeah, expertise domain at the Next Generation Work uh, Center is how the world of work is changing also, uh, influenced by many uh, macro level uh, changes that we see happening and where we see that there are a lot of disruptions that are affecting not only um, the content of jobs, but also how work is being executed and what are critical skills uh, to succeed in that. And uh, where I think one important tendency is that we have less and less predictability of how exactly work will look like and what will be the functional technical competencies that people need to possess. But um, the less that becomes clear, at the same time, the more it also becomes clear that everyone, and whether you go for a leadership position or for a more, um, yeah, operational job that everyone will need some critical transversal skills, some soft skills and, and that have to do with uh, the capacity to collaborate with others and uh, to um, make sense of complexity and deal with ambiguity, uh, to be able to make decisions and to have a critical mindset on that. And these are kind of very generic skills uh, that we that uh, when I work with organizations, I work with them um, to prepare uh, their workforce uh, for those uh, critical skills uh, in all layers of the organization. But if I relate that to our global leadership course, I think uh, this is also something that we really aim for to stimulate those more intangible competencies actually among the students uh, because um, to learn and uh, to be flexible, to deal with ambiguity, to make complex decisions, that's still so something different from understanding the core content domains in your field, but where uh, understanding that core content in your field, being it HR, supply chain, finance, will really no longer be sufficient to have a sustainable career in the future. And there I do see um, much importance in having such a course as a global leadership, where we really make students aware of, this, um, of those critical transversal skills for the future. The Global Leadership course is actually a course that we designed uh, a couple of years ago, um, completely uh, departing from our school's mission, uh, which is to prepare leaders for the world, not of the world, like our Dean is uh, always saying, and where our mission has already been um, yeah, since the origins of the school uh, back several decades ago, uh, our guiding principle, uh, the mission focusing on uh, preparing those uh, leaders for the world by focusing on self-awareness uh, in relationship or closely integrated with the global perspective and the societal consciousness. Departing from this idea that um, leadership development and, and, and Good leadership is actually not only about um, thinking about yourself and what you need from the world and how can you have the most successful career um, from your own perspective, but it, that we really need, and I think this is really very critical also in this uh, time uh, that we are living in, that we need uh, future leaders who are also aware of the many contextual challenges that we see uh, to be able to, to thrive uh, and to collaborate in a global world where there is a lot of diversity and to bring together at uh, the best of this diversity, uh, but also to address the many sustainability challenges that we're facing. And that has been the long-standing mission of Antwerp Management School. Uh, but what we have been doing with the Global Leadership Course is then, uh, rather than having a traditional leadership course, to really integrate those three angles and also translate that into challenging questions, challenging students actually on how they can embark on a career with impact on the world uh, and not only on a career where the world is impacting their individual career success. So departing from this triangle of self-awareness, global perspective and societal consciousness, we have developed indeed a set of competencies that we uh, expect uh, students to develop through the course, but it's really an experiential learning course. So we focus a lot uh, on learning by doing and on uh, stimulating students to develop the reflective capacity to make sense uh, of 
their experiences using frameworks that we offer them in those three domains. So um, when we look at self-awareness, uh, there I think uh, we are focusing on, on what is critical uh, for a good leadership that is uh, having a, a good understanding of oneself, uh, of one's qualities, but also areas for development, but also oneself in relation with others, uh, how one collaborates in a team and how together you can uh, bring teams to uh, good performance. Um, but in the other two domains, uh, the global perspective and the sustainability perspective, we, um, we emphasize on the one hand um, critical knowledge uh, that students should uh, acquire in terms of uh, what is um, diversity inclusion all about, how can we bring in a perspective on diversity that goes further than the cross-cultural diversity, but really dig below the surface also on individual inter-individual differences from very different angles and learn students to really uh, collaborate on that. Um, and the third one, the sustainability, we also offer them sustainability frameworks uh, where we also focus on that knowledge, uh, some basic understanding of what are um, sustainability challenges, uh, what are the SDGs, how are companies uh, preparing for that. But there again, also for sustainability and the global perspective, we really um, offer students critical experiences that challenge them to reflect also on their personal stance towards that. So we aim for more than having a cognitive understanding of what it is uh, or what it might mean in general, but that we really want them to live the experience uh, through the assignments that we give them, uh, the action learning project and where they then have to, um, yeah, to, to reflect on this personal meaning in a personal development plan. So the personal sense making in those three domains is very critical for us throughout the course. Because we have a broad scope uh, with, um, with uh, the, the course and in the end we aim of course to bring it all back to the individual, uh, but we bring them uh, into different sorts of experiences. And the self-awareness part, uh, we very strongly uh, focus on um, giving students uh, some relevant frameworks to make sense of themselves, how who they are and how they relate to others at the beginning of the academic year. And we do that, for instance, by having them um, yeah, reach out to significant others to fill in uh, a 360 degree feedback um, and with very open questions um, to help them get a better understanding of their best selves and how they uh, function the best and what are some development points they should further work on to lever at their strengths. Um, and we work actively on that also in a residential seminar where students together with their program uh, reflect on this and really dig under the surface to understand um, where they come from, uh, who they are today and how they look at their future, considering what they have already uh, been through, what they have in their backpack, but also considering uh, yeah, the values and um, the ambitions that they have. Um, for the global perspective and the sustainability perspective, we move actually beyond the, let's say, the safe space of their own, their own program, being at the master in HR or supply chain. But we really work in cross program groups um, in an action learning project. So we let people um, come together in small groups across programs where we aim for maximum diversity also in terms of um, yeah, geographical regions or cultures uh, that, there is, that the students uh, represent and um, we um, yeah this action learning project actually becomes a central learning space to understand more in practice about how to collaborate in a diverse team uh, with different perspectives and also in a setting that is not always easy because students have to find a common agenda also literally across their different cohort schedules that they might have in their program and the subject of that action learning project has to do with sustainability so there we really um, merge, let's say, uh, the three angles as uh, students work around the topic of sustainability, um, where they, of course, uh, are being inspired about the sustainability challenges, get sustainability frameworks to start working on. And they have to set up a project around one of the SDGs where they uh, provide a solution to a critical problem that needs to be addressed um, that relates to one of the SDGs and where they have to set up a project um, for realizing this together with external stakeholders or at least one stakeholder. Um, and by doing so, they also learn in practice what it means to practice sustainability and to take leadership in that to bring people together and, and to accomplish something meaningful. 
So that is a, an exercise that is more than just uh, a one shot or like a, a one hour brainstorming or whatever. It is actually something that they have to self organize around, of course, facilitated by us across several months, starting at the onboarding days in September and only delivering in February. Um, but where we have intervisions to make them aware or to help them define a problem, find a solution, collaborate with stakeholders, but also facilitate them in working with the diversity that they bring in their group. Diversity in terms of these academic disciplines, uh, cross-cultural differences, but definitely also diversity in terms of uh, relatedness to the pro to the to the project, eh? different personalities, different values in terms of how important is this to do this, and it is actually by going through these challenges that we um, aim them also to to further develop their understanding of what does it mean to work in the global context and bring that all back to themselves. What does it mean for my personal career? Um, if I think about my future career steps, what is an impactful career for me? Uh, do I want to work in such a global arena? What are my strengths, but also my development areas uh, to really flourish in such a context? And also, how do I personally relate to this sustainability? Does it matter to me and why? And, and how can I yeah, take that with me in my future career steps? We have seen indeed over the years uh, several projects where uh, our students have realized uh, to um, kind of put something in motion with the stakeholder uh, where uh, they have advised uh, companies or organizations uh, to continue uh, working on something also after uh, the students have uh, have left and that um, oh, that ranges from um, some uh, projects where they, they developed, for instance, um, some uh, teaching materials for primary schools uh, to, to educate kids also on the, on the sustainability on, on the SDGs and where um, yeah, schools have been continuing using that also after the students in that first year have done, have entered the school and, and, and educated the kids around that where the teachers themselves have taken over. So that's for me an example where you see this is a more of a long long-lasting impact. It has a bit of a history because uh, the first years we uh, had students uh, presenting uh, their uh, project more for a jury of uh, faculty uh, of the school um, where we were assessing like have they been applying and uh, what we expect and are they realizing the learning goals but we also measure um, yeah noticed then that it was a bit of a disconnect between or aim to really have them live this experience and then being in a classroom presenting it like a traditional paper presentation for any other course so that's why we uh, changed this um, a couple of years ago to really uh, invite the students together with their stakeholders with whom they implemented the project um, to um, to be at the school all at the same moment during what we have called a fair where they can present um, also with using some relevant materials or cases or whatever they would like uh, to bring in some creativity there to to bring across the message about why they have started that project how it related uh, to the sustainability goal uh, they're focusing on um, and uh, with whom they accomplished this together, uh, demonstrating also like, um, yeah, what they had been doing in all sorts of ways. And where at that fair, we were not only there uh, as faculty uh, of the school and involved in the program, but we, we have also been able to invite a broader audience um, in that sense also to leverage a bit kind of what has been done in those different projects to look for uh, more sustained collaborations also after the project presentation and we, we have experienced that this is much more engaging for the students but it's also helping us kind of to to leverage and more in the long term um, what those projects have been about. Mm -hmm.